Today, we will take a quick look at the new supply schedule functionality in Dynamics AX 2012. The new supply schedule shows a comprehensive overview of the supply and demand of any given product or family of products. To demonstrate, we will launch the supply schedule, select an item, Optionally, we can select a site. We have to select a plan and also a period template, which will determine how the data will be displayed over time. Click OK. The supply schedule form is now refreshed and displays the data in user-defined time buckets, in this case, in days. We can easily change that by clicking on modify filter and selecting a different period template for example weeks the first line shows, uh, shows us our starting inventory for each period followed by the demand in this case some sales and also some safety stock requirements then comes the supply and finally, our ending inventory. We can also drill down to the detailed data. For example, if we select the figure in the sales backlog, we can extend the sales backlog section here and see the various sales orders that make up this backlog. From here, it is possible to launch the sales order and make any changes that can be reflected on a supply schedule form. We can also expand one of the supply lines by selecting a sale and clicking on expand. We can see there are planned purchase orders on week 38 and again as we saw with sales order we can expand that and drill down to the actual plant purchase orders. We can launch the plant purchase order and make any changes as needed. With any plant orders, we also have the ability to level the supply over multiple time periods. In addition to viewing and editing existing orders, we can also create new orders from this form such as new plan orders, Kanban orders, production order, purchase orders, and transfer orders. Finally, we can re regenerate master scheduling to reflect any new data. And this concludes this demonstration.